Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing 5 DLCs and updates we want in GTA Online in 2018. GTA 5 may be turning 5 years old this year, but the game is still massively popular with record numbers of players in 2017. And Rockstar themselves officially confirmed fairly recently that they plan to continue releasing updates throughout 2018 also, despite the fact they're releasing another major title later this year in spring, Red Dead Redemption 2. Although they have warned us there will be a break in new content for GTA Online around its release, they still plan to continue releasing regular updates. And of course, if you guys have been following my channel the past few weeks, there have been numerous leaks and rumours hinting and suggesting what content we can expect to receive this year, with the next update looking to be scheduled for early March. But setting all of this aside, let's take a look at the 5 DLCs and updates we want in GTA Online in 2018. And to start things off, something we haven't really seen for a while, with the past few updates focusing on criminal organizations, weaponized and special vehicles and stuff like that, is an update going back to something a little more basic, specializing in just cars. There are many possibilities and potential themes Rockstar could go down with this, Tuners and Outlaws being one popular concept I'm sure you guys know and have heard about in the last year or so, or a simple follow-on to the import and export updates. Maybe something which incorporates the two, I'm not really too sure. But an update specializing in cars and customization is definitely something we haven't seen for a while. In fact, it's been a year since the last car was added into the game, which was customizable at Benny's original Motorworks, despite car customization being one of the main features in GTA Online. And it's worth noting, almost all updates released in the last year or so have added their very own custom workshops. So it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing if we saw another one added into the game with this update, of course specializing in a greater level of customization than what's available in the standard mod shops in-game. There's a huge demand for more cars and customization in-game as well, JDM style vehicles, street racers, drift cars and stuff like that. So a specialized car update would be perfect in 2018, and like I said, certainly offers plenty of potential. I personally wouldn't say no to an import and export part 2 update, this being something which was rumored recently. And I've always felt the first update could have been so much more, but maybe Rockstar did this on purpose and left it open for an expansion in the future. Anyway, moving on to the second DLC or update we want in GTA Online in 2018. I did talk about this briefly back in the summer of last year, a part 2 to the gunrunning update. The first gunrunning update released back in June last year was extremely popular and was an awesome update as well. And it seems pretty apparent at this point that pretty much all future updates to GTA Online will add some form of weaponized and special vehicle as well, and although I know there are players who aren't massive fans of these, there are more players in game who want these to be added than not. The gunrunning update was and still is one of my favorite updates to have been added to GTA Online as well, and is only just behind my favorite, the Doomsday Heist update. And again, there's still plenty more potential in regards to the theme as well. For starters, despite the amount of weaponized vehicles we now have in-game, there are still loads we'd like to see, such as the Humvee and something like this, which is named the BVS-10 Viking. I personally also like the idea for the business to revolve around trading military vehicles. Kind of like a military version of the import-export updates, where we'd source military vehicles, or just parts for the military vehicles, then bring them back to our underground bunker, either for storage or to be built, and then sell the military vehicles to organizations and mercenary groups in-game. And this kind of offers something a little different to what we have in the game at the moment, with nearly all businesses revolving around collecting items or packages, taking them back to the business warehouse to then be sold at a later date in bulk. With this concept, however, it incorporates the very popular import-export business and offers a military theme, something which I think could be very popular in GTA Online. Anyway, moving on though to update number three. Now again, this being something which has been talked about a fair bit in the community recently with a number of leaks and rumors passing around. This being an update themed around the sea. A sea-based update would kind of finish off the current theme that we've seen from the past few updates after receiving a ground-based update last year, the gunrunning update, followed by an air-based update, the smuggler's run update, so a sea-based update would be kind of cool and kind of connects to what we already have in-game. 
The sea is definitely something which has been neglected in game, and for good reason, but this doesn't necessarily mean there isn't potential with it. And I know this is the type of thing which sounds better on paper and in concept, but just wouldn't really work simply because boats in game are pretty useless. But then again, they could be given a use with this update. So putting all the rumours and leaked information to one side, this sea-based update would of course have a military or mercenary touch to it, adding a range of watercrafts and ships to the game, things such as the hovercraft, kind of like the one from GTA San Andreas that could travel both on land and water. Some warships as well would be pretty awesome, just imagine having battles out to sea against other players in the session. Submarines as well, kind of similar to the one in the Doomsday Heist updates, so you could travel around and fire torpedoes at other boats, ships, and submarines in-game, and most importantly, an aircraft carrier that we can buy and own. Speaking on behalf of pretty much all players in GTA Online, this would be an awesome addition at any time, not just in a sea-based update, of course offering us a new facility to land and store personal vehicles and aircrafts at, and could easily double up as a business property as well as a base of operations and a storage facility. This type of thing definitely needs some imagination, but I'm sure you guys can think of some pretty cool ideas revolving around this. In regards to the business though, I'm not really too sure what sort of thing would be specific to this, other than the standard package retrieval, storage and then sell to various different pirates for example, maybe people on land and stuff like that. But again, if you guys have any ideas, of course let me know by leaving a comment on this video. Let's move on though to DLC or update idea number 4. This is possibly the most unlikely concept on the list, but at one stage was going to be an official feature in-game from launch, and is a feature in GTA 4. And for those of you guys who haven't guessed this already, a Cops and Crooks update. An update which will allow us to become a police officer in-game, own and customize our very own police cars, and participate in standard police activities. Now this was something, like I said, that was supposed to be included in GTA 5 from launch, but for a number of different reasons, which I'm not going to go into detail about, because I've talked about this in a video almost two years ago, in fact. Basically, this feature was cut. And more so now, an update themed around this concept seems even less likely to be added, with most updates recently, of course, themed around criminal enterprises and whatnot. But again, this doesn't necessarily mean there isn't potential around the theme. There could easily be a twist. So what I mean by this, although you could become a police officer and enroll in various basic activities, such as searching for criminals, making arrests, handing out driving fines and stuff like that, there would also be an element of corruption. So with your role as a police officer, you could maybe participate in things on the side, such as taking bribes, doing paid hits and taking people out, obtaining items from the evidence lockup and selling them and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys get the idea. And again, something like this definitely has plenty of potential and offers loads of different possibilities. It would also be pretty cool to own and customize your very own police vehicles in game too. I'm sure you guys would all agree. It would be so cool if we could just take the police cars back to our garages and store them inside. Maybe even also have the option to purchase your very own police station as a business headquarters. And these could come with a storage facility so you can store your personal police cars inside as well. Anyway, moving on to the fifth and final DLC idea in this video. This being something which, if you guys have played Armor, H1Z1, Player Unknown, Battlegrounds, and Fortnite, you should be familiar with. This being a feature which I'm rather surprised Rockstar still haven't added into GTA 5 a Battle Royale mode. This may not seem all that special or all that much to players who haven't played games with this mode in them, but to those players that have, I'm sure you guys would agree, a Battle Royale mode would be pretty awesome in GTA Online, and isn't exactly something which Rockstar couldn't add. To basically explain what a Battle Royale mode is to players who haven't played it before, Basically, a lobby of players would begin in a plane flying over the map. You can jump out at any time you want, basically at any point before the plane reaches the other side of the map. You have to parachute down and find whatever weapons and materials you can, then hunt down all the other players in the session and be the last person alive. All whilst the map becomes smaller and smaller as a wave of toxic gas encloses in around a smaller and smaller area every few minutes. It's a really fun mode, and it's something which is extremely popular in those other games. And like I said, it's definitely something which could easily be added to GTA Online, and would definitely be very popular if added. Now, of course, I'm not suggesting an update like this just adds a new game mode into the game. There's also loads of possibilities an update like this could go down. 
such as adding a range of new weaponized vehicles, weapons, and various battle-themed content. Anyway, but with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I, of course, want to get your thoughts and feelings on these five DLC and update ideas. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas relating to them or any other DLC themes you would like to see added to GTA Online in 2018. So go ahead and leave a comment on this video. If you guys could also drop a like as well, it would of course be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.